Hello everyone, welcome to In 5 Minutes. Now we are going to design a Butterworth filter. Let us see the specifications. Design a second order Butterworth filter with a cutoff frequency of 1 kHz, sampling frequency 10 raised to 4 samples per second by bilinear transformation. But the problem is the specifications of the digital filter are not given directly. So we must find the required digital specifications. So for Butterworth approximation, we have to convert these specifications into specifications of equivalent analog filter. And therefore, we will use bilinear transformations. First, we will write whatever is given. As it is second order, capital N is equal to 2. As cutoff frequency is mentioned, Fc is equal to 1 kilohertz, that is 1000 hertz. Sampling frequency is given as 10 raised to 4 samples per second, that is 10,000 Hertz. Now we have to calculate the required design specification of digital filter. We know that F is equal to capital F upon Fs. That is Fc is equal to capital Fc upon capital Fs. So Fc is given as 1000 upon 10,000. That is 0.1 cycle per sample. Now we can calculate the angular frequency. Angular frequency is given as Omega C is equal to 2 pi Fc that is 2 pi into 0.1 that will give us 0.2 radians per sample. Now we have to calculate the specifications of analog filter. So they can be Omega is equal to 2 by Ts tan of Omega by 2 that is Omega C is equal to 2 by Ts tan of Omega C by 2. Ts is sampling time that is 1 upon Fs that will give us 1 upon 10,000. So omega c is equal to 2 into 10,000 tan of 0.2 pi by 2. Therefore the omega c is equal to 6498.39 radians per second. Now the value of n is also given. So it is not necessary to calculate. We have found out the cutoff frequency and order of the filter. We will calculate now the poles value. So pk is equal to plus minus omega c e raised to j capital N plus 2k plus 1 pi by 2n. Here k ranges from 0 to n minus 1. Here n is equal to 2 so it will range from 0 and 1. So for k is equal to 0, p0 is equal to plus minus omega c e raised to j n plus 1 pi by 2n. So substituting the values of n and omega c we get plus minus 6498.39 e raised to j 3 pi by 4. So we will expand this e raised to j 3 pi by 4. It will be plus minus 6498.39 cos of 3 pi by 4 plus j sine of 3 pi by 4. That will give us plus minus 6498.39 multiplied by minus 0.707 plus j 0.707. So finally we have p0 as two points. That is we will take the positive sign 6498.39 multiplied by 0.707 plus j 0.707 and another point is that minus 6498.39 minus 0.707 plus j 0.707. So p0 is equal to minus 4595.05 plus j 4595.05 and 4595.05 minus j 4595.05 so this is the pole 0 now we will find out the next that is for the value k is equal to 1 